this triggers the narcissist more than anything else. The narcissist will always end up hating you. They will always end up mad and full of rage because there are things that trigger them more than anything else. And these things cause them to feel upset and frightened, which then causes a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. But there isn't much you can do about that because these are things that you don't want to change. The things that trigger a narcissist more than anything else are your happiness and contentment, your pleasure and satisfaction, your state of well-being. But it's not just that you're enjoying someone's company or that you're enjoying an event or enjoying doing something. What triggers them more than anything else is how you're able to generate your happiness from within. Because even if you didn't have anyone or anything, you'd still be happy and they know it. Because you're an empath, you have the ability to understand the experiences and feelings of other people outside of your own perspective. Which is why when you experience happiness and joy, it's very intense. It's a very strong feeling for you. It's not like a fake smile. Because when you smile, you smile from your eyes. And when you laugh, you laugh from your belly. It's a genuine and authentic emotion. It's real. And although it may feel good for you, it actually irritates and offends the narcissist. It causes them to feel upset, annoyed and resentful to where they feel like they have been treated unfairly and then they want to lash out at you. They become vengeful. Even though they know you never intended to hurt them. Even though they know it was completely innocent. Because they see their feelings as facts. So if they're hurt then someone must be to blame. And because they lack self-awareness, they never look at themselves to see that they are the issue. But when they have to witness your excitement, it intimidates them. It immediately gives them an inferiority complex and then they just can't be around it. Your happiness and joy triggers the narcissist more than anything else. They can't be around it. But if they have to witness it, they will try to find something wrong with it. They will criticize it. Or they will try to put a stop to it. Or they may just ghost you completely. They don't like to see it because they know their happiness isn't like that because they know that your happiness isn't just dependent on other people or things it's generated from within it's generated from how you feel about yourself you're confident in your own qualities and abilities you're confident in how you look but even if you were the most beautiful person in the world they would still find a way to put you down and it's not just your beauty on the outside. It's also your beauty on the inside. Because both things will trigger the narcissist. Which is why they will always criticize you and make comments about it. But you can also see the beauty in other people. Both on the inside and outside. And it may often overwhelm you. It may produce a strong emotional effect. It may give you a very intense feeling, which is another thing that narcissists can't stand, because that is real intimacy. It's a deep emotional connection. 
which is something that they will never get to experience. Which is why they will often go out of their way to put on a show. To try to prove to you and to themselves that they can experience it. But the truth is that they will never be able to experience it like that. Because they're self-absorbed that they like empathy. So the only thing that they can experience is narcissism. They can only experience you experiencing them. Which is why they don't attach to you. They only want you to attach to them. Because that is the only thing that gives them satisfaction. But once the relationship is meant to move past that point and they're meant to attach to you, they can't do it. Because they're missing that component. Which is why any relationship they get into will never last. Because they can't experience true intimacy or an emotional connection. When if you're a normal, healthy person, that's exactly what you crave and desire in a relationship. But the only thing they know how to do is to manipulate you and make you attached to them which doesn't really satisfy them. Because it's not even a fraction of the feeling that you get to experience when you're intimately involved with someone. Which is why they can't stand you. And it's why they're actually deeply envious and jealous of you. Because they know they will never get to experience that. Which is why they end up hating anything positive or good that you get to experience. It's why they will criticize you and put you down. It's why they will try to distract you and get you to focus on something else. Because they want to make it seem less impressive or valuable. They want to take away its significance and importance to you. Because they want to take away your desire to do or achieve something. They want to take away your desire and determination to achieve success. They want to destroy your goals and dreams. Because they hate your confidence. They hate that you have little doubt about yourself and your abilities. They hate your certainty. They hate that you're self-assured. Deep down they actually respect, admire. But they can't acknowledge it because it's not them. And they know that it's never going to be them. Which is why instead of investing their time into themselves and their own lives. They will spend their time trying to destroy your confidence. By calling you names and insulting you. Because they want to show you you're not as intelligent, important or attractive as you think. Power. When they want to be the ones who have power and control over you. So they need you to hope or expect to get help or advice from them. They need you to hope that they will provide something for you. They need you to depend on them. Which is why they will try to reduce your confidence in your own beliefs and your opinions. Because they don't want you to be independent. They don't want you to have everything you need without them. Because if that was to happen then they wouldn't have a foot in the door. They wouldn't have any ability to control you. Which is why they hate it when you think for yourself. And when you do something different than what they expected you to do. They need you to always agree with them. Because they're very insecure. They have no control over their own emotions. Which is why they hate that you have an independent mind. They hate that you are inclined to decide for yourself what to believe and do, rather than simply accept things because they say you that you should. So everything that you are triggers the narcissist. Everything that you don't want to change, everything that is good, everything that is positive and progressive about you, your happiness, excitement and joy. It all triggers the narcissist. 
but it's not something that you can change. It's not a problem that you can resolve because they just can't accept your qualities. They can't accept that those qualities belong to you and not them. It irritates them because they want to control you which is why the only thing you can do is disengage because you need to be around someone who is going to appreciate your qualities someone who is going to respect you someone who has the quality of knowing and doing what is morally right Someone who is going to love everything about you. Someone who isn't going to try to control you. Because that is not love. Love has nothing to do with control. Love is about freedom. Love is about letting go. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.